Hey everybody, Stacey Mitchell here. I told you in my last video I was going to give you a couple of ideas for selling fragrance. We have Femme coming out in campaign 9 where we will get triple dollars for the sales on that product. So this is our time to really get out there and promote that product and be headed towards President's Club and um, just get a really good kickstart. So I want to give you a couple of unique ways that you can let your customers smell this product that will make it a little more memorable. And I have always sold more doing something a little unique as opposed to just giving a sample. A um, couple of things you need to know about any ideas I give you. Number one, they are never my ideas. I steal them from somewhere. So I got this from somebody else. I can't tell you who because I don't remember. <laughs> but most people don't mind you stealing their ideas. You'd be amazed at how many Avon representatives are on YouTube and on Facebook and wherever giving ideas out. And they're cool with it because we just all do that for each other, help each other out and give each other ideas. So feel free to take these ideas and use them. Um, two things you're going to find about my ideas specifically is number one, they are going to be super, 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 super simple because I don't believe in making things any more difficult than you have to make them. As simple as you can do it, the more people you can help. The second thing you're going to find out about my ideas that I share and that I use is they are super inexpensive because I'm extremely cheap and I don't spend any more money than I have to either. So uh, these two ideas, I'm going to give you two separate ideas today. I recommend picking one or the other for Femme and then saving the other one, filing it back in your mind and using that one later on when another uh, fragrance launches. But I'm going to give you both ideas today so you can choose which one you like the best and uh, give those a try. So the first idea all you're going to need is your bottle of Femme, and if you don't have a full-size bottle, please pick that up. Campaign 7 order from your What's New. Um, it's very inexpensive, and there's something about this full-size bottle that when they people touch it and see it and hold it and it's right there, it's, again, easier to sell. If you don't have that, however, get a sample. The, the little vial samples will work just fine. So you also need some ribbon. That's all you're going to need for this. A ribbon is very inexpensive, um, depending on where you buy it. But, you know, I'm all about Hobby Lobby and the 40% off coupon, so I love that. Find something. For Femme, I would find something pink because it's all about matching that fragrance. They branded it. Stick with their branding. Trust me, this works. It's just you want to associate it. So I chose a nice little light pink Um ribbon here and what you're going to do is you're going to cut this ribbon i've cut one already uh and you're going to cut it just a little bit longer than the brochure is okay now this is a great job if you have kids uh that they can help you out and they can sit there and cut ribbon for you i mean that's a super simple job and something you can keep them get them involved in and help with now i have a four-year-old little too difficult for him to do so I do this myself but I can sit there and watch a movie with him and snip ribbon at the same time so this is not something you want to spend valuable money making time doing this is something you're chilling out at the end of the night and you've seen your customers and you've done your thing sit in front of the TV with your family you can snip ribbon okay so use your time wisely too so anyway you're gonna cut as much ribbon as you can you're gonna grab a ziploc baggie throw all that ribbon in there take your fragrance and squirt it right in there on the ribbon and you'll just have to play with it to see how much a few squirts usually just pretty good toss it around in there get that fragrance all over that ribbon and you can store them right in the ziploc baggie throw them in your purse your bag your briefcase whatever you carry with you and take it with you um, and then when you go to your customer's house or you're out prospecting or whatever you're doing, handing out brochures, then as you're getting ready to give out a brochure, pull one of the ribbons out, find right in the front there, we have the page that shows the them, it has the price, shows that the lotion comes with it free. That's the spot you want to bookmark with us. And you just toss that ribbon in there if it cooperates. And it looks really pretty and it's very simple, but your fragrance is right there on there and they're going to be able to smell it. Um, super simple, super inexpensive. I do like spraying the ribbon better than just like the paper card samples. There's something about spraying it on this porous material that makes the smell more true than spraying it on paper. And I know that's probably just me, but to me it smells different when it's been sprayed on paper. So I do like that. 
it sticks in there. It's right where they can find it so they know exactly what, which fragrance it is. Really simple, really easy. That is idea number one. I sold a ton of Eternal Magic doing that. It, and you can't get any easier than that. You just can't. The other idea I'm bringing to you today is also very simple. We have some tool here, and it's already cut into circles. Um, again, I like simple. If you ask me which is more important, simple or inexpensive, it's a toss-up. This, In this case, I bought this unopened package of tool. It was unopened until today um, at a garage sale for a quarter. So I got simple and inexpensive. Great stuff to find at garage sales. People uh, have it left over from events and they just want to get rid of it. And they don't usually take it back to the store, so they put a really cheap price on it at a garage sale. So it's good stuff to look for. Um, if you're not so lucky as to find that, Dollar Store carries this a lot of times, uh, even already in the circles. Um, you can also get it, again, Hobby Lobby, 40% off coupons every single week. That's a good way to do that. So you're going to need that. You're going to need some cotton balls. Buy the cheapest cotton balls you can find because we don't care if they're big and fluffy. You're not taking eye makeup off of it. You're just spraying it. Now I do use, these are pretty, pretty thin, wimpy cotton balls. So I do use two. Um, and again, grab your fragrance, spritz your cotton balls, and put that in the middle of your tool. We're going to also cut a little ribbon. I have gold ribbon today. Uh, I would prefer silver silver ribbon for this project, but I just couldn't find my silver ribbon, so we're using gold to demonstrate, and that's okay. So you put your cotton balls in the middle of your tool. You're going to gather it all up, like so. I don't know if you can see this. Gather it all nice and pretty. Take your ribbon, tie it so it stays. We're going to try and make it sort of even here. This is another thing. I am not a perfectionist when it comes to this stuff. Um, when it comes to crafting, <laughs> I don't want anything that I have to be too precise. I want to be able to just get it done. So that's another thing. This doesn't have to be perfect by any means. Um, tie that up. Knot it. And I like to curl it. This is curling ribbon. It makes it look prettier. Curl it up nice and girly. And you have a pretty little sachet. Let me hold that a little closer so you can see it. Pretty little sachet for your customers. So it's kind of like a thank you gift. Uh, they can put that right in their lingerie drawer. And they have the scent as well. So this is a really super simple but very cute thank you gift idea for your customers. And um, it also will help you sell your product. Um, Another thing you could add to this is take your business card, punch a hole in the corner of it, string that on the ribbon, and then you can have your business card attached. And that's great for things like, uh, you know, if you have an event um, where you're setting up and selling or, or just talking about the opportunity or whatever, and these also make great little gifts for that. So those are my two ideas. I hope they help you sell lots and lots of them and help you get to President's Club quickly. Um, if you have any questions, always holler at me. I'll answer them the best I can. But use these ideas and uh, I hope your business grows huge. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.